When I'm out on a raft packing trip on my electric raft, in order to make any reasonable amount of distance, I need a lot of battery power, because unfortunately the drag of water on the raft is no joke. LFP batteries are great for this, and Lytime was great enough to send me out the second LFP battery I needed to complete my two battery setup for my raft. And actually the first battery I bought for the raft is actually from the same company, so I'm very familiar with their batteries already. And I'm happy to report that that one has not given me any issues in the time that I've Owned it. All right, so let's talk about this battery. It's a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery with a total capacity of 1,280 watt hours. It clocks in at just under 25 pounds, and I'll leave a link in the description to the full spec sheet if you want to check it out. The Minn Kota Endura C230 that I use on my electric raft at full thrust only pulls 360 watts. So if we do some rough napkin math, that works out to be roughly a three and a half hour runtime at full throttle using just one of these batteries. At full speed, my raft goes six kilometers an hour. So if you extrapolate, that works out to a rough range of 21 kilometers. And my motor is nowhere close to maxing out how much power you can pull from this battery continuously. It can support up to 1280 watts and any motor that runs off of a 12 volt battery will work with these. Like I mentioned, my complete setup involves two of these batteries, which gives me a total combined runtime of seven hours or basically a full day of boating around. And when I'm out on these raft packing trips, I like to set up my 120 watt solar panel on the front of the raft to trickle charge the batteries. So over the course of the day, combined with the two batteries, that gives me a rough estimated range of 50 kilometers before I need to charge the batteries. All right, let's actually open this thing up. So we've got the uh, manual, some stickers and a service card. We've got the uh, post bolts for securing stuff to the, uh, the positive and negative terminals. We've got a uh, cute and snuggly cat that absolutely demands to be part of uh, everything. You're such a turd. And, of course, we have got the battery itself. Here we have it. Oh, a 100 amp hour, 12 volt, 1280 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And this now makes two that I have. I actually wanted to uh, come down to the boat launch and uh, take the raft for an actual uh, spin today. But I guess this boat launch is not uh, open during winter, so see they've got the docks pulled in right there and even if I could bring the raft down here the water's still a little bit uh, iced up even though it's uh, above zero today so so I can't quite uh, get out on the water but uh, I figured out that uh, this picnic table makes a good makeshift transom mount now it kind of makes me want to uh, figure out a way to make a picnic table float <laughs> So the wiring is literally that simple. Just connect the uh, red wire to the positive terminal and the negative wire to the negative terminal and it's ready to go. So I'm gonna make sure I stay clear of that propeller. This is nice and securely mounted in place on the picnic table. Go all the way up into five. That's cool watching the uh, shutter speed interact with the uh, RPM of the motor. It's spinning a lot faster than it looks on the camera. And because this isn't just a raw battery, this actually does have a BMS, uh, I can run this thing until the battery goes empty and not have to worry about over draining it. And when I charge it, uh, same idea, it won't overcharge because unlike a lead acid battery, it's actually fully protected by an onboard BMS, which allows for, I believe, a max four series, four parallel configuration. So you can wire up to 16 of these things together for like a 48 volt, 400 amp hour configuration. That's actually pretty wild. To charge these batteries, you don't need anything crazy, just a standard 12 volt LFP specific battery charger. I myself have a 20 amp charger that charges these batteries from empty to full in five hours. And now that I got two of these batteries, I actually need to pick up a second charger so I can charge them both at the same time. I can also charge them with solar. Most solar charge controllers come with built-in options for 12 volt LFP batteries. And so what I like to do is when I'm out camping with my electric raft setup, I'll take the batteries, deploy my solar panel, plug in that to the batteries and charge them up over the course of a day, two days while I'm out camping. And so every day that I'm out there camping, I'm adding roughly an additional 10 kilometers of range back into my raft from the sun. And the best thing about the lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry, it's actually the exact same battery chemistry that's in my Tesla Model 3. And when treated well, you can get over 10 
thousand cycles with these batteries. It's not like lead acid where after a couple seasons you chuck them and replace them. These will be lifetime investments as long as you treat them well and store them properly.